Hello friends and welcome to my Joshua Tree travel vlog. Jumping right into the beauty of the desert of Joshua Tree National Park, I spent most of this trip filming content, so here's some behind the scenes of me setting up for some of my yoga content. It was a little tricky having to balance everything on these boulders, however it makes for an incredible view and a very interesting yoga experience. I love hearing the crunch crunch under my sandals as I walk on this dry ground. I find the variety of plants around me truly inspiring. There were these really interesting, quite large black and yellow caterpillars that turn into lovely butterflies. Most of them were caterpillars at the time that I was here and there were many of them so I had to be careful to watch underfoot so I didn't step on any. During my first day, I spent most of the time hiking around and filming. One of the places I went to was Barker Dam, which is a favorite spot. I came here a few years ago and the reservoir was filled with water, so I came back hoping for the same thing. And while it was green and a little damp, it was not full like it was several years ago. Over in this beautiful valley, there were so many beautiful Joshua trees surrounded by walls of large boulders. This was definitely a favorite moment because I only ran into about two people, so I felt like I had the whole area to myself. It was a lot of fun to come here and film some content, do some yoga, just really enjoy the slow burn of the sunset. That was my first day and the next day I came here feeling a bit more energized because I hadn't just driven a super long way. Again, I just explored around, hiked around, took a bunch of pictures and felt truly inspired. Because I was here on a solo trip, I spent a lot of time really finding myself and really asking myself a lot of questions like what's important to me and who am I and really just getting to the bottom of embracing who I am and accepting my self-worth. So I feel like I say this to a lot of people in my real life, but I don't really say it online as much. And I just want to remind everyone that you need to love yourself first. You have to love yourself first. And this isn't like just some empty words, like this is something I really live by. The reason is people will come and go, money will come and go, jobs will come and go, friends will come and go, experiences will come and go. Everything comes and goes and nothing lasts. And I don't say that to be bleak. I say that to have remembrance, to be grateful for everything you are experiencing and everything you're going through. No one can love you the way you love you. You're stuck with you for the rest of your life. So love it. This is another cool spot I found to film some more content. And yes, it did require a balancing act. However, I got it in the end. I found so many cute little cactuses everywhere I went and each of them looked incredibly unique and different. That's definitely one of the wonders of the desert. The sun was hot and the hike up this mountain was a bit steep. However, once I made it to the top of the world, I felt unstoppable. It was truly a peaceful and worthwhile experience. One of my favorite areas of Joshua Tree is pretty south of the park and it's the Choya Cactus Garden. These cacti look almost fuzzy, but I definitely wouldn't give them a hug if I were you. As sunset began to fall across the land, this one area that I stopped at made me feel like I was on Mars, simply because of the way the boulders have these amazing craters in them. Hey friends. So I have taken a solo road trip to Joshua Tree. This is actually my last day here. And I just wanted to do like, like a little check-in, I guess. As you can see, I've been filming some content. 
I'm very happy with what I've created because it's so peaceful here and it just really allows me to tune into myself and to just clear my mind. Here's a car coming. And, and just really feel one with nature and yeah, I've actually been going through something kind of difficult recently and I just kind of up and decided to take this trip and I'm really glad I did because I feel so connected to myself. I feel so re-energized and reminded of who I am. And I'm just really, really thankful that I even had this opportunity line up so perfectly. So I just wanted to share like some of this beautiful sunset with you. Honestly, couldn't ask for anything better. This is the absolute best gift in the world. I've been thinking a lot about, sorry if this is like blinding. <laughs> um, I've been thinking a lot about self-love and what that means. And I just keep coming back to the idea of, I am enough, or you are enough, I am enough. You know, just kind of reminding myself like, I'm strong enough, I'm talented enough, I'm creative enough, I'm smart enough, I'm beautiful enough. I am adventurous enough, I am joyous enough, I am capable enough, I am creative enough, I am enough. I am enough for myself and I am enough for the world and I'm just so thankful for how I incarnated and how I was like created to be the way I am like all the way from my birth to everything in my life I've experienced that's helped to shape and mold me into the person that I am and I don't know I just feel like this this huge sense of like oneness and completeness and wholeness within myself and that makes me really happy because honestly i wouldn't want to build a life on any other foundation other than just wholeness i am enough oneness i understand my place in the universe and how i'm connected to all things and how everything matters and also how nothing matters and it's the beauty and the gift we get of free will to be able to choose how we deal with whatever comes our way I have my hat now. <laughs> yeah, so just kind of rolling off that train of thought. I just feel really grateful to be alive and I just feel truly blessed to be where I am right now and to always be growing and evolving and how I am always a perfect work in progress right now in the moment. And that actually like it fits together. I feel like I'm very aligned with my heart and my mind and my spirit and it just really, I don't know, it just feels like powerful. It feels empowering, supportive. It feels very good. And I want to keep cultivating this, this sense of power within myself because I feel like, you know, the more aligned I am with my higher self, the better I can help to serve others. And that's something that brings me a lot of joy. And I love helping people. So, yeah. I love helping people that want to be helped. <laughs> I'll say that. I spent way too long forcing my help and service upon people that did not ask for it or did not want it. So I am open to helping and serving those who want to be served by me so yeah thank you so much for watching definitely feel free to subscribe and follow for more have a beautiful week and remember to stay grounded